Okay, so we had a, a House Ed Committee hearing today no, on Common no. Core. Let me let me make this clear. We did not have a House Ed Committee hearing on the Common Core. We had a presentation on the history of education, which was not a presentation on the history of education. That was a falsehood. It was instead an anti-Common Core rant. And, and when you say rant, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, it was done by a guy who uh, is noted for going around the country, speaking to Tea Party uh, groups, um, calling out the Common Core and the President as evil and trying to indoctrinate our children. He is very popular among the uh, 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 extreme right end of the Republican Party, uh, the libertarian end of the Republican Party. He wandered around that committee room waving his arms and shouting out his story uh, as if he was Elmer Gantry. <laughs> okay, so what came of all of that ranting and raving? Well, what came of all of that is at the end of his uh, uh, alleged presentation on the history of education, which had nothing to do with the history of education, uh, Chairman Hyland yanked a bill out of nowhere from last year, an anti-Common Core bill, and uh, he orchestrated, along with uh, uh, Representative uh, Bradford and Representative Barta from Barta, uh, Barton, Barton from Leavenworth, Bradford from Lansing, uh, a gut and go on the old bill to put into it a new anti-Common Core bill that goes way beyond the bill uh, that was heard last year. So when you say it goes beyond, what are the implications by the, from this bill? Well, this bill doesn't uh, essentially bans what we're doing in schools. It says that uh, anything aligned in any way with the Common Core Anything created through a consortium or a committee uh, is no longer permitted in Kansas. And uh, money can't be spent to do that. So that means that, for example, AP classes, the, they're aligned with the Common Core. We now will not be able to spend money on AP classes. International Baccalaureate, the SAT, the ACT are aligned with the Common Core. Uh, is, uh, the Lexia Reading Program, and here's the beauty of the Lexia Reading Program, it was inserted into a budget bill by Representative Mark Rhodes uh, because he loves the Re Lexia Reading Program. It's the only one that was designated by law as the Reading Recovery Program of Kansas. The Lexia Reading Program is aligned with the Common Core standards. It would now be illegal to, under this bill if it passes to spend money on the Lexia Reading Program, which is actually mentioned, uh, was actually mentioned in Kansas law, and Mark Rhodes voted for this uh, anti-Common Core, anti-education bill today in the House Education Committee. So, does this also impact things like you know professional development and and just general curriculum development at the local level? Well, it, it, it certainly does because it current it essentially bans the current standards in Kansas and throws everything into chaos. Uh, the state has to, to start over, uh, and actually this talks about making, uh, the state is allowed to make model standards, but your standards are developed locally. Well, that may sound like a good idea, but of course our assessments, uh, how do you do state assessments when every local school district uh, uh, makes their own standards? That, that, and they may or may not use these to-be-developed model standards. So, so if there's a if there's a Common Core standard that, that indicates that, that at fifth grade they should teach, you know, uh, formulaic geometry or something like that, um, is that essentially now outlawed under this bill? I, I think if you take it to its logical conclusion, yes, um, and that was brought up by uh, uh, Representative Ed Trimmer, a former teacher who sits on the committee, asked that very question: Doesn't this uh, prohibit us? I mean, I mean because. Of, all standards include multiplication, even the Common Core standards. So what does it mean? We can't spend money teaching multiplication? It, it's such an extreme bill, uh, it's shocking that, that it would get passed. You know, I, I'm, I'm not going to uh, uh, sit here and say, well, we should use Common Core, we should not. That's a decision the state board made. And the state board, by the Constitution, has uh, the authority for supervision of public education in the state. The state board made that decision. They have modified them tremendously, um, and, and that's where this decision rests. If you don't like the Common Core standards, and if the state board disagrees with something in them, 
the state board is free to change them, to modify them, to start over completely if they so want. Uh, this simply says that everything that the state board has done is now tossed out. And uh, the legislature directing the state board on how they want this done into the future. I, I think it's a really dangerous step constitutionally. Um, it, it's a, a disrespectful of the state board and their authority. I think it's disrespectful of the school districts and what they've been doing to try and make the standards, the Kansas Career and College, uh, College and Career Ready standards, their own. Additionally, this goes beyond though just those standards. It it refers specifically to, uh, I believe, human sexuality standards. It it refers to every standard that every set of standards that we have in the state, going far beyond just repealing the common core. So, so this was a sneak attack kind of akin to what happened a few years ago um, at the dark of night on a weekend in April. Um, so where does this bill go from here? Well, the bill from here has to be read in on the House floor. That will happen, I suppose, tomorrow. Uh, and then it has to be, uh, it sits on the floor and will come up for debate probably on either Monday or Tuesday of next week if they choose to bring it above the line for debate. So should, should our should our uh, viewers then basically expect that we'll we'll push some something some messaging on this and, and, and ask them to get involved when the time is appropriate? Uh, when the time is appropriate, we're going to tell you to get involved and uh, who to call and what to say. Um, this bill is very bad and uh, very dangerous for our schools. Very bad for the education of our kids, and we need to uh, pull out all the stops. But let's look and see where the bill is going. Um, it won't be acted upon. Uh, as I said, probably till next Monday or Tuesday. Thank you.